Boomer Key, Patrick Brown, Go Balls 24-7 here on campus following fall practice number six, Tennessee's first practice in full pads and the defensive line and offensive line were certainly getting at it. Sounds like the defensive line has been getting the best of the offensive line, which you would expect because as we just spoke to Rodney Garner about, there's a lot of veterans in that room and there's a lot of bodies in that room. Yeah, Ben, uh, Ronnie Garner seemed pretty pleased with the start to, to camp for his group, but he said today it started to wear a little bit. The energy wasn't where it needed to be. Yeah, it's the sixth day. You're starting to hit the grind. Uh, we had some guys banged up. We were supposed to talk to Omar Norman Lott. He didn't, up, didn't end up talking. That's why. Probably nothing. It's just sort of the wear and tear of camp. But I, I think this defensive line's gotten off to a big start or a, a good start, I, I should say. Rodney Garner is never, you know, he's never pleased. It's always a sort of a moving target to uh, to get to where he wants to go. But I think he does like this group. He's got some veterans. Uh, he likes some of the athleticism and the length they have on the edges. And uh, it's just trying to get those guys to all play cohesively and, and play to uh, the standard that he wants them to play, which is, it's a tough one to reach. Yes, it, it is. And of course, Rodney joked that he doesn't like to yell. He just wishes guys <laughs> would do what they're supposed to do when he asks them to do it. So he wouldn't have to yell. but. Uh, really two things that stood out to me the most. I mean, Bryson Eason spoke, uh, Elijah Simmons, uh, and uh, I'm blanking on the third guy. but they Roman, were, Roman Harrison. Roman Harrison, thank you. They were all very impressive. But what stood out to me the most is uh, Rodney Gardner's comments about Elijah Simmons and Tyler Barron. Yeah, Elijah Simmons has changed numbers. Uh, he's gone from 51, which is a defensive lineman number, to 10. He said he tried to get a single-digit number. Uh, it's funny that he and Squirrel White are wearing the same number when they're very, obviously, different <laughs> size people. Um, but, you know, Elijah has sort of uh, flattered to deceive or teased in the past. You know, he started the first four games under the staff in 21. Uh, was sort of a rotational guy last year. He's shown flashes of being a guy that can really impact games. Um, but he started well and kind of tails off. And, and um, Ronnie Garner had an cr- interesting comparison for him is of Geno Atkins, is a guy who played in the NFL, played at Georgia, uh, I think played in the NFL for a long time. Um, and so that, that's sort of the, the comparison when he first met Elijah that he could be. So. Uh, but Elijah seems to have a different mindset this, uh, this offseason going back to the spring. Uh, he seems more willing to push himself and have other people push him. That's what Garner said. And uh, they're hoping that it can continue and, and it will show up on the field in the fall. And uh, he also talked, uh, Garner did, about Tyler Barron being more bought into Tennessee and not being, quote, a Tyler Barron guy. So um, Barron's a guy that's got a lot of talent and ability to impact games. And uh, they're hoping that him being that way will, will help you know, translate to the field and he makes a bigger impact and, and helps Tennessee replace Byron Young, who's a big miss for this defense. Yes, and Rodney Gardner also talked about how Tennessee's defensive line is going to miss Latrell Bumpus. I think mm-hmm. Bryson Easton is a guy that's kind of an older guy, a veteran that's flying under the radar that can kind of be that Latrell Bumpus piece. With Roman Harrison, they need, they need him to contribute. He's the oldest guy at that Leo position off the edge and there's a lot of talent in that room but they need Roman to have his best year yet. I mean, it's that simple. Yeah, and he's a guy that needs to step up his production and be more of a leader, be more of a presence, be more of a guy that shows those young guys how to do it. Josh Joseph, James Pierce, Caleb Van Garner said that you, that room looks like you won in a championship program with the length, the athleticism they have. So some room to make, but uh, they bought in well, he said, and uh, certainly Harrison, I think, is a guy that's uh, helped that group sort of grow and, and sort of been a, an example for them and a tone setter for them to, sh- to show them how, how to, uh, to go about bi- their business. Yeah, and he was as impressive as always. So uh, defensive line was the focus today. Nothing really else of, of note that took place during practice. Uh, quarterbacks and receivers maybe a little more sloppy than, than you would like, but they were perfectly fine. Uh, we've got plenty of coverage coming up at govals 247com throughout the day. Video, written pieces, podcasts all coming your way. For Patrick Brown, I'm Ben McKee at govals 247com